Hey everybody, it's Shari Nicole. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title and my setup, I'm going to be dis discussing the um, fingerprint services that I offer along with my notary business. So here is the fingerprinting card known as the FD258 applicant card. It is a card that anybody could you know take prints on is mainly used for name changes new hires or just to put your prints on file the other type of card that's similar to this is called the criminal card obviously the word criminal lets you know or should let you know that that's for criminals and um, law enforcement are the only ones who can use those but this applicant card can be found on Amazon. Um, they sell different packs. You can buy as little as I think three or five for you know less than fifteen dollars. So this is what it looks like on the front. Hopefully y'all can see that. Every space that I highlighted are the ones that are the blocks that need to be filled out. You're only supposed to use black pen ink on this card, and it tells you that at the very very top where my index finger is um, type or print in all black ink so just going through it over here you have the signature of the person being fingerprinted you have their residence here you have the date and the signature of the person who is taking their fingerprints and then here you have the reason for being fingerprinted this part usually is left blank, the employer part, unless their employer, unless you have a client who's um, coming to you with the cards from their employer, and that part would like be stamped in by their employer. Um, and then over here in the middle section, you have your citizen, your citizenship, your social security number, and then in the very top is your name. Well, the person's name who is being fingerprinted, you have their demographics, their sex, race, height, weight, eye color, hair color, where they were born. In this section, you always put the um, two-letter initial of that state. Or if they're from a different country, like someone recently, a client that I had was from Denmark, um, Denmark was written out. And then you have their date of birth there and everything else remains blank and then down here so the top row is going to be all of the right the fingers from the right hand and then the second rows fingers from the left hand and the bottom row is going to be the left four digits left thumb right thumb and then the right four digits will go there on the back it lets you know just how a clean print should look what's acceptable what's not acceptable what they look for um, you honestly can just watch YouTube videos on how to roll fingerprints how to roll your fingerprints and fingerprints for others and go from there is really not that hard most states like my state doesn't require training It's optional you can take one of their little training courses but it's not a requirement um, if you want to know how to if your state allows you to offer this service then you can click in the description the link in the description box below and I have I'm selling a little $10 PDF telling you all about how to get your fingerprint business started how much to charge where to get the products and all that kind of stuff and the difference between the states because there's a few states um that allow certain things that the rest of the states do not so i am going to just show you how to roll fingerprints um, but before i do do that i'm going to let you know that it's very along with writing um the two initials of where they're from if they're in a uh, from the u.s the colors matter like they they matter how you abbreviate it let me get the little 
my little reference paper. You can find this anywhere on Google. You can simply Google how to complete an FD-258 application card. And it lets you know here the abbreviations on how to put those abbreviations for their eye color, hair color, etc. And I actually messed up on my race. It's supposed to just be a letter B, not B L K. Um, but yeah, they're very particular about these abbreviations. So make sure you do it correctly. Um, I like this little printout that I found because it's straight to the point. And it even lets you know up here what goes in those blanks that I already told y'all about. So moving along, in the beginning, I literally went to Office Depot and bought some regular uh, ink. And I've been using that up until recently. This ink is hard to get off. Um, you obviously need something that is long, rectangular. So the four prints can fit. Now, what I recently found is for the single digits is this great ink here. I got this off of Amazon. It's called the QP T-Pad fingerprint pad. This is easy to get off. Like, I love this. It's inkless also, and it's all right, it's dark enough because that's the thing your prints need, they can't be too light. So, I've been using these here. I forgot I can't put the stuff up too high. <laughs> I bought these little, uh, they're actually like diabetic little alcohol swabs. I thought they were going to be bigger than that until I opened them and they're like really just very little. But I have the client take one and then just wipe off any excess oils from their fingertips and their fingers in general. So that the oil can get, I mean, so that the ink can get down in their, um, their prints easier. And I do actually have some oil on my fingers. I had just put some cuticle oil on like 20 minutes ago. So I'm sure that's still settled in my fingers. So after that. You're going to slide this through here. This is my now. This is my first time using this. I literally just got this. FedEx dropped it off. <laughs> so on this video, it's the first time I'm using it. I don't really like how it bends up your card, but the purpose of it is to hold down. You know what? It's because I'm doing it wrong. Yes, we're all learning right here. The purpose of it is to hold down the card so it doesn't move. Because lately, for my clients, my past clients, I just used like a clipboard. So you're actually supposed to slide it through and put it on whichever part you need it on and you open it up to get it further down. So we're going to start with the right. So it tells you, so the first box, it says right thumb. So it's in the order of your fingers. Right thumb, right index, right middle, right ring, right little. And then at the bottom, like I said, is right thumb. So we're going to start off with the inkless. And then the way you roll, you can either do right to left or left to right. I always tell the clients whichever way is comfortable for them because... Clients be making it hard. <clears throat> People be making it hard. Like, it's not hard to roll your friends, y'all. It's not. So, usually, I start off with my client. I tell them, you will take the ink, and you're going to lay your finger down like this in the ink, and then you're going to roll over in the ink from end to end, and then that's when you will take it and apply it, and you're going to do the same motion. Roll it onto the paper. That's how you're supposed to do it. So, we're going to roll it over from end to end because it needs to be coated when you're rolling prints. This is not a press. This is a rolled. So, it kind of missed 
some at my top but this is just for practice but honestly you would want to have it fully coated now let's see so you put it down and roll over and it'll be kind of like that is the best thing is not supposed to really be crooked like everything's supposed to be straight through and then with that extra ink block you see that Like you see the overlapping of the ink there you don't really want you don't want that you don't want that at all you want a clean print so we're just going to go ahead and since we already got our right thumb uh inked up we're just going to go through at the bottom and stamp it though that part is easy the bottom is easy because you're just literally inking up your finger and then uh you see how easy that ink came off? Because I got some here. 